Good day, ladies and gentlemen. I greet you all from wherever you are watching me from. And so today is 17th of June, 2024. I'm at Akodo Ise, which is the Bejuleki axis of the Lagos Calabar 700 kilometer coastal road construction project. So this video is going to be in two parts. The first one, I am going to show you what the road looks like, the stage at which the construction is at the Bejuleki axis of the free trade zone and the Dangote refinery and the deep sea port axis. While the second stage of this video, I'm going to be showing you the Lakampine Tropicana axis follow is uh, Igboguro connecting straight down to Odelmi, where the coastal road continues down to Ugo State and Ondo State. So if this is your first time of coming across my channel, this is a channel where we discuss everything real estate. So please endeavor to subscribe. Click on the subscription button, click on the notification bell, like, comment, and share this video to enable you to see more of our videos. And so the first phase of the new 700 kilometer highway that will run through the nine coastal states is the 47.47 kilometer section beginning from the Victoria Island. It has five lanes on each side of the dual carriage lane and a train in the middle. The super highway is being constructed by high tech construction companies starting from Amadu Bello way in Victoria Island, Lagos. The coastal road will pass through the Lekki Deep Sea Port, Dangote Refinery Axis. Ogu State, Ondo State, Delta State, Bayelsa, Cross River, and Aquaibom State. And also, economic analysts have revealed that the completion of the first phase of this project alone could increase the size of the Lagos state economy by 50 percent because of the connection to the lekki deep sea port and the lekki economic corridor where the dangote refinery and the petrochemical complex is situated along other multinational industry one of the fascinating and interesting future of the coastal road is how it will compress the distance between lagos and ondo state for instance the distance from Ibejuleki in Lagos to Araromi in Ondo State is about 50 kilometers along the coast. The distance translates to about one hour journey from Araromi to Ore. A major connecting hub in Ondo State is about another 50 kilometers. Whereas the existing route from Ibejuleki to Ore currently is about two motorists, about by motorists, is about 150 kilometers. So this coastal road from Ibejuleki. So Araromi will be about a hundred kilometers as against the one hundred and fifty kilometers, which is uh, which is by motorist to to Ore. If you are going if you are going through the normal existing road now, it will be about one hundred and fifty kilometers. But if this coastal road is completed, it will be about hundred kilometers from Ibejuleki to Ore in Ondo State. And so, please watch this video till the end. Yeah. 
Okay, as you can see so far, this is the stage at which the construction work is along the Dangote refinery and the free trade zone axis. The construction work continues from here. And like I said on this video, I'm going to post the second part of this video showing the coastal road construction at the Lakampai Tropicana axis, the Folu is uh, Igbogun Road, where there are lots of estates where many estates is situated. So don't forget to subscribe to this channel so that you'll be among those to see our next video showing the Foluise and the Igbogu axis and straight down to on those states of those states. So thank you for watching this video. Watch this video to the end. Thank you. Nothing. Nothing more.